It's been two weeks since an accident involving a school bus took the life of a boy and his mother in Westchester, and tonight we're learning that the crash is just one of dozens that take place every year on that road. Now a community is rushing to improve safety. CBS 2's Tony Aiello covers the northern suburbs and has a story from Amerineck. This busy five-block stretch near Mamaroneck Avenue School averages 41 crashes a year. That's three times the statewide average, according to this report from a traffic consultant. Veronica Romano is not surprised. Parents are bringing kids to school. People are coming in and out of this shopping center constantly. I think it's a perfect storm for an accident. The June 20th deaths of Molly Donovan and her son Michael Volpe spurring the village of Mamaroneck to action. They were crossing here and had the right of way when a school bus making a left plowed into them. I'm sure that we are going to take a deep dive as a community and, and look at the most effective ways to keep our passageways safe. That process is now well underway. A near-term step may be an exclusive pedestrian phase at the deadly intersection. All vehicular traffic would have red lights while pedestrians had the walk signal. That would eliminate right turn on red for vehicles leaving this busy shopping complex. They should absolutely prevent this from ever happening again. And if that means people have to wait a few minutes more, then so be it. Other steps might include speed cameras, restricting parking near the avenue to improve sight lines, and widening sidewalks. Mamaroneck Avenue is a county road, and Westchester is promising to work with the village on safety measures after such a terrible loss. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News.